I'm just kidding, but I see love she sees a friend. What will it take for her to see? Right, in today's video, I'm going to be asking the age old question Am I Nadi or not? Because I'm just Ken. Oh my God. I'm just Ken, and I'm also Ryan Gosling, apparently, because I'm literally him. Uh, you're literally him. You're literally Ryan Gosling, and you're also Ken. So, all those things combined, are we actually Nadi or not? And that's what I'm gonna be breaking down today. So you can see in the latest Barbie movie, Ken does look pretty fantastic, or Ryan Gosling shows. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go over that whole f shtick. Um, Ryan Gosling is Ryan Gosling, and Addy or not. Um, just look at that smile. It's just phenomenal. But as we can see, he started off playing as young Her. He started off playing as Hercules. So I mean, that kind of goes to show his like baseline genetics, which is what I'm gonna be focusing on, and also his transformation through the years and him at 42 um looking pretty phenomenal as well but i have an opinion to this that i'm not gonna say just yet um actually wait no i can't be bothered all that shit that transformation right there 25 years is more than doable but for certain things that i'll get onto later i'm just gonna give a bit more nuance to it and sort of just question his natty status a bit more but that transformation pretty amazing but also very doable his foundation genetics are really really good um as we can see in his young hercules when he was 17 like he's got really good muscle development and i don't have any reason to consider him doing like gym stuff then i mean to be fair if you're gonna play the role of a young a young hercules you might do like some sort of like calisthenic work but i'm not sure why they would make him do strength training at like 17 for his first shoot of all things i just have genuine reason to believe that he's not done anything to that point and uh, that can also be said for when he played the notebook in 2004 we get another good shot of him shirtless <laughs> i'm just looking at shirtless ryan golding photos do not go back to my google search history because it's just sus as hell as we can see in the notebook as well it's like six years from that point till young hercules and he's not like improved massively if he worked out consistently over the years he would look a lot more different and especially considering his look when he was playing young hercules he has really good genetics you'd expect a lot more if he worked out consistently but again i have no reason to believe he's working out at this point so i'm just gonna go off that being his baseline genetics he's also grown a bit he's fully done puberty so that's him at 23 i believe if i did the maths correctly and just looking like a fit guy who, I don't know, maybe works out, maybe does calisthenics or something, maybe not even works out. Then we have him in Half Nelson where he plays a PE teacher. So, you know, like, I guess he's getting roles where they're like, you're supposed to be kind of fit. But I mean, just looking at him, like he's got pretty good vascularity, but like, he doesn't look massive. He doesn't look extraordinary. And even for like a PE teacher, you'd maybe expect he puts on some sort of size, but he didn't really, he hasn't really, changed that much over the years so still i don't think he's been going gym or started even and this is still his base on genetics he's like 20 25 so he's like he's like a almost peak level bloke and he's not even like started going to the gym or in my head i think anyway I like when i did the research for this i couldn't really find anything of him going gym um before like 2000 2008 which i'll get onto later but there's half nelson looking like a normal bloke and 2007 uh, i said mid because i mean i know his body fat percentage there it could be like 20 it's definitely overweight and it might not look like it but carrying a lot of like fat in his belly and stuff even then like he still looks like a pretty fit bloke like you, know, you can definitely tell he has muscle underneath uh, you might refer to that as like a dad bod. You know, he's going to be like 20, 22, 21% body fat. Definitely a bit of fluff, but not in the worst shape. You know, he's not like obese or anything. He's still pretty height, but you can definitely tell he has muscle. And in 2008, which is what I referred to earlier, his first gym photos, and he's actually looking pretty well. Um, I don't know what he's drinking there. Hopefully, he can drink me at some point. I mean, um, 
I'm also dressed really zestily for this video. I tried to find the pinkest thing I have and this is like dark red. I mean, dark red is pretty zesty anyway, but that aside, um, his first ever gym photos. And this is when I start to believe he's actually going gym. This is the first ever gym things he's like sort of been paparazzi for or even known for even so like he looks like he looks like he works out pretty fucking well like my view of a male body is very skewed because uh being in and around the fitness industry and like looking at it a lot these phenoms of people who puts on masks like crazy even before they hop on gear and even when they're on gear they just look fucking huge but that's like the top one percent of people and I want to say that Ryan Gosling is probably in like the top, I don't know, maybe like... I was going to say top 1%, but I genuinely think he might because, I mean, like, look at him when he was 17 and 23. Like, he looked really solid. I don't think many people can look like that. When he was 17, he looks like what I did when I was in like a year or two of lifting. Mind you, it was like calisthenics and it was briefly into COVID as well. But even then, like, he looks like me when I was a year or two into lifting and I have pretty solid genetics. A lot of people might not even look like him when he didn't train at all till, you know, like a year maybe into weightlifting, half a year, whatever. So, and that's not even considering him being lean. I think he has like maybe top 1% genetics to be honest, because he has pretty good genetics for building muscle and being looking athletic. So that's his first ever gym photos. And in 2010 is when he looks a bit saucy this is when it starts to get interesting no it doesn't because <laughs> i still believe he's still natural at this point i don't have any reason to believe he'd be on the sauce although in those shots in those shots he does look a bit saucy i can't lie because going from that to that in two years it's pretty doable but then again looks like in those shots he looks like he's put on like a lot more muscle than he should have but do bear in mind when he's doing like these movie shots it's him looking at his peak. It, it's him looking as best as possible. The lighting, the, he's probably like cut down a lot of weight for the shoots, for the shirtless scenes. Like they have certain times, like certain slots for the shirtless scenes for when they like peak. And when they're in like normal clothing, they just kind of lay off a bit. So when they're peaking, they like cut down a lot of weight. They get dehydrated, they get pumped, they get everything to look as best as possible for the shirtless scenes. And in this movie, All Good Things, in 2010, he does look pretty saucy. I don't know the whole premise behind the movies, by the way, um, for most of them anyway. <laughs> but a lot of what the physiques look like in movies is a bit skewed, since there's going to be a bit of lighting trickery. Like, it's pretty low angles. But even then, he's looking really well. He's probably around, I'd say he's around like 50 maybe below 50, definitely maybe below 15% body fat which is around in and around ideal that's like the military standard i think and overall good solid amount of muscle looking like a really healthy fit bloke um nothing else to it and a very handsome one at that mind you <laughs> but um in the oh there's a video which explains how he got to the famous scene which is crazy stupid love in which he looks photoshopped so we're just gonna listen to that real quick yeah. This was pretty embarrassing. For this role, also, you had to do a few shirtless scenes. Did mm -hmm. you do anything to prepare for that different than what you normally do anyways? I did a lot of exercising. I lifted a lot of weights and things like that. Made, made some, tried to make muscles for the movie. This movie so um, after that in-depth explanation to how he, <laughs> to how he um, got the muscles, he just lifted a lot. Nothing else to it, right? Um, I'm pretty sure in another interview as well, he said he, all he did was ate less, moved more, lifted more, lifted heavy weights. Um, and so, to be fair, I don't think his knowledge is pretty outstanding. Like, that's literally all you have to do, right? I think he's like being pretty humble whenever those like shirtless scenes come up in interviews or whatever. And I've only included this one here, but there's like, I think there's a couple more. I don't really know. Like when I was trying to like find interviews and stuff and like sources, there's not really that many for his like workout routines as of that time. But in 2011, Crazy Stupid Love, he does look pretty good. Like he looks really good there, but it's nothing that him and his genetics could have achieved when he started working out three years ago, three years prior. 
I still think that is very attainable. And mind you, with all the movie trickery, trying to really peek at those scenes, um, they even have like those slots, as I said, for when they peek and then lay off. A lot of it is illusion, shall I say, because as insane as he does look, and mind you, it's not like in insane, like it's stuff that you could maintain probably stuff like him could maintain probably around like 13 percent body fat so good amount of muscle good amount of vascularity looking really solid however nothing to really suggest him using gear although he could have since there are some reasons i'll get onto later and in 2012 beyond the pines is him looking pretty good as well there's no when I was researching, there's just no like real surge in, dr there's no drastic muscle mass change where you just suddenly got insane amounts of muscle. It all seems like pretty, pretty line linear. Like he gets like quite a bit, he quite, he gets quite a bit of muscle at the start and it kind of lays off into, well, now. And he hasn't really improved over the past decade which is what you can kind of expect because that's literally what the graph of the law of diminishing returns graph for muscle mass where it kind of starts out you get a lot of muscle newbie gains then you know you still start to make a lot of progress and it kind of lays off at the end there's a lot of things in his transformation um, just him in general for me to believe that he's just natural and not on anything because he doesn't do the whole chicken broccoli rice shtick um, that most people do but then again like most people like Michael B Jordan that a lot of their movies are kind of centered around their physiques so when he did like Creed and stuff such so a, a boxer like you kind of are expected to have a really insane physique but for his roles it's not aside from like 2011 crazy stupid love it's not really as expected for him to have an insane physique where you're supposed to be like fucking ginormous but more so just be lean and quite athletic looking so still looking pretty well and in 2022 i skipped a bunch here because it's <laughs> gonna be ours going through every single movie all 27 i think he has 27 movies uh quite a few but this is a clip from him in the gray man Like, it doesn't really give, like, really good shots of his physique, but you can definitely tell he's really lean, and definitely because of the way that's angled as well, because he has, like, a pretty shredded six-pack and all, but honestly, that's not insane. That's not that much of an insane difference from a decade ago, which is what you'd expect if he trained consistently, maybe on and off, maybe he went off um, roles, but I know he's done, like, Blade Runner and stuff and you have to be kind of fit for that and stuff but honestly he's not really changed that much a lot of reason for me to believe he's natural and as we can see him in Barbie looking pretty delicious <laughs> as I previously stated he doesn't look insane he doesn't look insane he has something that I would classify as naturally attainable and attainable to a lot of people especially him considering his genetics which was like pretty ectomorph so being a bit lean and quite like he had quite like broad shoulders packing on muscle must have been pretty out for him i don't know his weights during this as well like is what he's what he weighed overall like a lot of the things <laughs> people probably have clicked off by now because i'm just saying he looks natural as hell but there are some flaws to this as well because i mean as with any high like hollywood a-list celebrity roles for movies he's gonna have a lot of pressure to look well for these movies and um, especially considering his roles where he does take off his shirt quite often um in barbie when he played ken which is just like really like beach bod thick guy right he has a lot of pressure for that and um, definitely when it comes to money as well so his return on investment for taking gear would be substantial it would make the whole process a lot easier he would have to put in a lot less effort he could recover faster just attain that level of muscularity that you need way easier in that and considering his age as well now 42 it's not like 
the oldest fucking bloke, but definitely a good return on investment for getting it. And the attainability as well for it, like it's, he has, he's fucking minted. He could get all the testosterone in the world if he wanted to, which is um, something I envy of, because I would love that shit. <laughs> but there's a huge financial reward to doing it. And plus making it easier, him getting old, a lot of pressure for the roles. There are some flaws in doing this, but I mean, for the stuff that goes with him, he has amazing genetics. This transformation is literally 15 years in the making. And, and over that time frame, he doesn't look sauced out of his mind. It doesn't strike me as something or someone being on gear and taking super physiological amounts of gear. <laughs> it's not a crazy jack body, still kentastic. Why did I write this? I even wrote cringe ass motherfucker because I knew that was going to be cringe as hell. Um, but yeah, fantastic. And um, not many crazy highs and lows because there's no blips in his physique. There's no substantial increases in muscle mass. There's nothing. So the final conclusion to Ken and Ryan Gosling and us as Ken and literally Ryan Gosling for being naughty or not. Um, <laughs> drum roll. Uh, as we can see, Craig Jones in his OnlyFans t-shirt <laughs> about to roll. So, drum roll. I fucking hate myself. But, final conclusion, he is natural. He is natty. This man is, this beautiful man is natural. <laughs> in my opinion. His physique is so naturally attainable to me that it's just, I don't know why he would go on gear. Uh, he's never claimed to never, or... Actually, I haven't researched that much into this, so <laughs> he probably has claimed to be natural. And you know what? I've not really seen that many things of him talking about his body and his stuff and shit like that. So it just gives me a certain level of, oh, he doesn't really care or likes to boast or whatever about his body. He likes to talk about his body and his, like, fitness success that much so you know he just keeps on the down though he's he striking with someone who keeps on the down and just trains and whatever for these roles and just being with his genetics looking pretty damn solid and <laughs> that's gonna wrap it up for this pretty long-winded um ken natty or not um hopefully enjoyed all the zestiness that came along with it and yeah um i'm literally ryan gosling and as always, from hate to love.